Robbie O'Keefe, where to begin? I just thought it was a really great performance from the boys. I thought um, like we sat off deliberately in the first period. Um, we had a plan to try and play on the counter. Um, we wanted to try and play for the, the diamond that we, that we set up. It worked to a degree. Obviously, it got easier with the sending off. But um, I just thought the boys were excellent from start to finish, to be fair. And um, I said to them in there, it's no surprise for me, having seen them train on Monday. And now they've played today. Uh, they've got, they've got, there's great characters in, the, in there. Um, good ability as well. And uh, yeah, I think it was uh, a really good performance. I guess you probably only knew yesterday that you were going to be in charge today. Did you have in mind the kind of team that you were going to put out? Because it was a different formation and four changes, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, obviously we've, um, MK, they've played MK already and played a certain formation. So I think that uh, for us it was always important to try and change it and uh, play with a diamond, something that we really believe in, in the academy. Um, and there's players at the first team level that, um, that can play in that, in that uh, style of play as well. And I thought he sued him. I thought, I thought Bruno come in and was excellent, caused carnage. Um, he's the sort of player that will excite you, then he'll disappoint you. But that's what you get with Bruno. And uh, like I said to him in there, don't worry about making mistakes. Just uh, when you're good, be really, really good. And I thought he was excellent tonight. And you packed it with experience as well. Yeah, um, I think you need that. I think uh, Scotty Cuthbert and, and Pross at the back lead, lead tremendously well. Uh, I've got to say, I thought Ben Coker was fantastic out wide left. I, I, I'd love to see his stats. He was up and down the pitch all, all, all game, as was Luther on the other side. But yeah, it's a, it's a nice, they're a, they're a lovely group to work with. I've got to be honest, you know, the, the session that Ronnie and I took on, on Monday was excellent. Really enjoyed it. Uh, really good characters, really receptive. Um, and, and, and really welcoming as well, which is quite important. You know, there's always that little bit of standoffishness when when things change. But there was none of that. It was it was straight on, straight in it, and uh, it was excellent. We started off well. Obviously, conceded midway through the half, and we we're all kind of thinking, "Oh, here we go again." We've seen it all before. But what a second half! Yeah, I thought second half we really stepped down. We made a couple of changes in the at half time in terms of how we wanted to approach the second half. Uh, we identified that you know wide areas for us would be really important, so it was all about ball speed to get the ball wide. It was about getting two v ones. If you couldn't get a two v one, but you were one v one, you could get a crossing. Don't don't mess around. Just get it in the box with quality. Don't just weak it in there. And uh, obviously, Coke's cross for the first goal uh, was 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 excellent. And uh, I thought I thought that was the, the the pivotal moment for us was once we identified that we needed to get wide and, and get deliveries in. The game really turned on its head for us. What was going through your mind when Luke Norris has stood there with a the ball in his hands? Uh, uh, to, be, to be honest, I don't think I've ever watched a penalty uh, in my time as a, as a manager, and I didn't watch that one either. Um, so, um, yeah, obviously really nervous. I, I knew what the timing on the clock was. Uh, but if, uh, if I'm honest, if we're going to get a penalty in the last minute, I'd want Luke on it. And, uh, yeah, I'm told he, he buried it, and uh, yeah, the rest is history. We, we're, we're through. So. What happens now, Robbie, um, obviously between now and the weekend? Well, I'll just wait for the club. Um, the, the club will do the right thing, as they always do, always try to do. And uh, for me, we, I'm here tomorrow with the, the kids, FA Youth Cup, Sutton United. That's, uh, that's the next most important game. Um, so we want, to, we want them to progress in that as well, because if they win that, they've got Preston at home in round three. Um, and if nothing changes, then, then Thursday we'll be up, up with the first team again. And I should think... Looking around the stadium at the end there, you must be very proud and proud of the fans as well. I thought the fans were excellent. You know, they're really good. I mean, the noise they generate is, is incredible. You know, for, for you know a small a small club as we are, and we all we all know that. But the, 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 they're excellent. Um, obviously, my association with the club goes back a long time, so it's it's a lovely moment for me to to manage the first team. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, but you know the club now need to go and appoint, and uh, when they do, I'm sure it'll be the right appointment for the club. Not putting your name in the hat? Nah, <laughs> nah, nah. I, I love what I do with the kids. It's um, I've done it for a long time. I, I get so much enjoyment out of seeing them progress and develop. Um, but I'll I'll do this for as long as I need to do it with the club. Congratulations. Sir. Thanks, Steve. Thank you.